go. Perfect. There we go. We just. Hey, hey! Welcome to Superior Lunch. Yeah. Okay. That's that's perfect. Mm. Yeah. We got jalapenos. We got jalapenos in this. We got jalapenos. What is it? We got jalapenos. How you doing? Good. Good. Do a little selfie. I'm just pushing buttons now. Don't push anything. I just don't mess up. Delete. <laughs> 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 oh, we're gonna go in there. If you guys can separate. Some of the things that I'm seeing as you guys are going up and down the hallways that's that's missing is communication. You're saying one thing to your dog, but your body language is saying something totally different. And, and you can see it on everybody. Um, and that, that goes to like what we're talking about like this. So if you're hesitant, you're, you're, you're translating that, right? Some of the stuff that we have, you, your body language has to match what you're trying to tell your dog. If, if camera's standing right here and I say, Okay, do me a favor, stay right here. Come on, stay right here, stay right there. Come on, see what I'm saying? All right, my body language is telling them <laughs> to come, but I'm telling them to stay. <laughs> How is that different though with your dog? So that's exactly what you guys are doing. So I'm telling them, hey, stay right there, and I'm telling my body language to say come. And all of a sudden, he, he's like, what, what? So why would that be different with your dogs? Why, that same confusion, then you're telling, I want him to I want him to stay tight, I want him to go. Define what you want first, and then, and then make sure you translate it. For those of you who are married, if you went home, it's not what you're saying, it's not the words, it's the actions. If you go home and your wife is slamming the counters, husbands or boyfriend, you're slamming cameras and boom, bang and stuff, and you say, what's wrong? And she says, nothing. Well, you're a fool if you think truly nothing is wrong. <laughs> True fool. The body language is saying something totally different, but the words, so if you say, oh, well, nothing. Hey, by the way, give me a beer, I'm gonna go sit down and watch the game. Probably not gonna fly. All right, so it's the body language that you're saying. So make sure that the two are translating. If you don't understand that, make sure we'll, we'll get what you're doing like this. So we'll pattern it out. Communication is gonna be huge for all this stuff. All right? The build and search stuff that we're doing right now, everybody's trying to get a little feel for what we're doing. It's gonna build in blocks, little crawl, you know, walk and then run. Certain things you may want, that you may not be able to do with your dog. Um, you know, everything is still a, a, an evolution as you go throughout your career. Jimmy was in here working on his and stuff we saw. He was walking on two legs half that hallway. The dog was so torqued up and twisted. But depends on what you have and what you can do, all right? So first figure out what you have, what your capabilities are, and where you want to go with things. So know that. We're going to take some of the rooms and we're going to do some unique stuff with them. We want these dogs digging corners. And we don't want them bypassing areas. We want them to look into the little, the unique little tiny areas that you came in here. All right. So we'll, the only way we can do that is, is pattern these dogs. We'll teach them the patterns. Oz, if you're coming in here searching this building right now, like this, how, how are you doing this? You're looking for somebody. You're going to be on a on a leash. You're going to keep them tight. You're going to do a long line. You're going to have both. You have both. It's an empty school. The kids in session. I mean, this situation. This is a perfect example. You know. You know just got destroyed, right? They smashed glass, windows, fire extinguishers. Does that warrant a bite on this, you know? Probably not, you know? There's, there's nothing, it's kids. So if you came in here and the alarm was going off, and that was the, the likelihood of end of school, that's what you're gonna have, this is exactly what you had. So could you just cut them loose? No. Could you cover this entire school and have enough gas at the end? No. As we're gonna do this in pieces, is everybody's dog good in a muzzle? Right. I can tell you that we noticed it with Ricky's dog, you know what I mean? Ricky's dog was good in the muscle, and then we, and you go away from it for a while, and then all of a sudden, nah, I don't, you know, it's something you have to routinely do. So we're gonna do that. Um, so when everybody brings a dog in the muzzle, we'll have somebody check each dog, the muzzle, make sure it was good, and we're gonna set up, we can put this together, it's gonna bing, bing, bing. So three, four rooms, pattern it out, praise, work this rooms. Questions on this? Now when we go in the rooms, like the three, four rooms, and, uh, Dogs are a muzzle. We're letting them, you know, 
give them a muzzle punch or whatever, and then yeah. take the dog off moving around. It's yeah. not just for safety, right? They're actually getting something. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So what we'll do is like this door right here. So pretty much right where Sinto's in that corner. We'd be on that wall. We're gonna send them around this corner. So I want that dog to come in and learn that he's got to clear that corner. You know, so the first position will probably be like that on this room, and then we'll move them and this stuff. If those who are decoying, when the dog gets him, you got to get to your dogs quick, though. If you go, when he gets in there, he gets, and he does hit him, good, boom, react, make sure you react, and then you got to hit him to get to your dogs quickly. Hey, yeah. That's right, that's how I roll. Jimmy Loomer does not treat dogs very well. I want everyone to know that. He has no idea what he's doing. He has no idea what he's doing. He doesn't know how to train. He has no idea what he's doing. Here he is, people. It's RJ from Trumbull. Hold on, let's see this thing. Ready? Come on up. Alright, make an announcement and let them know what this is. And then right from here. This one can't I see. Send my dog to fight you. Send him. Hang back. Good. Good pressure. Pull pressure back on him. Good. Praise him up. Praise him up. Good. Good boy. Pull him out. Pull him out. Right to the next room. Perfect, perfect, go. Ready? Announcement quick. Yep. Hang back. Let him work the room. Good. Go ahead, pull him back. Pull him back. Pressure. Good. 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 Right into the next room. Hold that line. Let them work it out. Go ahead, advance up, move up, then move. Good boy, pull him back, pull him back. Good, pull him back, drag him back, pull him back. All right, go on out and come back with me and we're gonna talk. I'll show you how to put him up and then come see me. Go ahead, jog out. Wasn't bad for the first time. You just cannot leave him in the gray. That's what you guys are doing. Both of you two are doing the same thing. I'll explain that. Can't leave him in the gray. So he comes in, he like, all right, he engages. Am I supposed to? And now, he, he, literally, they're waiting on you. Like, are you either going to yell and say don't, or you're saying good, go. So that's, they're telling you, they're responding to you, they're waiting. They're almost like testing. They're, they're punching and they're like. Why, because it's new to them? Yeah. yeah. So if you want to encourage that, right? So, yeah. so when you go in, so good, get in there with them. Get in there and. Fight the fight with them. Yeah. Right. And then even if you, and if you hook them and bring them back, and he's right here, they'll do the job on their side. On right. Side. They'll do the job and keep them engaged and back out. We can't only back out all the way out of here. So, so if I had to, I could let go of the dog. I could do this. I could lock them in if I had to do something. Whatever. That was what you need to do. But just don't leave them in the gray for that one little piece. So should I engage it's, more? It's, well, no. It's, it's the handler's got to let them know that it's okay to do that. They're not sure that they're, we're good. Right. They're, they're, yeah, they're, they're kind of like deer in the headlight for a second. Okay. And, and what's nice is using Marie for stepping up because yeah. they don't get exposure to female decoys. Yeah. Very, very rare. That's great. That's because Marie's tougher than half that crew. And I'll tell you that right now. Oh, yeah. She is. All right, ready? Don't mess with Just, Marie. Don't mess with Marie. Don't mess with me, She'll tell you to know your role. Come on. Four rooms quick, but it's got to be fast. Please throw the cannon, boom, send them. This and them, I feel good. Just go right up to this room, start working your way up. Whenever you think you can send them from the safest distance, send them. Start moving up. At least the cannon, I speak to now, I tell you will fight. Send them. Good, Hang, hold back, wait till he knows, wait till he figures this out. Good. Pull him back, put some pressure on him. Good boy, good boy. Straddle him now, Dave. I want you. There you go. Now back out. Weekend only. Weekend only. All right. So I'm a, same thing. Yep. The only difference is when you're backing out, yep. I'll keep your, your gun hand free. Problem. All right, go. Yeah. 
There he goes. Good. Pull him back. Good. Pull him back. Keep him engaged. Out, Dave. Free up your gun hand. Free your gun hand. Get that rope out of your hand. There you go. All the way out. All the way out. All the way out. All the way out. Next room. Quick announcement and go. Or don't announce it. Just, just bite him. Okay. Uh -huh. That was the janitor. Good. Pull him back. Good. Pull him back. Gun. Good. All the way out. Nice. Last one. Got announced though. Go. Wait. Good. Wait. Good. Pull him back. Same thing. Good. Pull him back, Dave. Pull him back. Pull him back. Keep him engaged. All the way out. Keep him straddle. Nope. I want him engaged. To you. Sinto, give him a little, little, just T. There you go. Now back out. Good. Good, 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 good. Out. All the way out. Nice. Run them out. Question for you. Mm-hmm. I, I did a lot of these fucking building schools and shit like this. Yep. I used to just let them off. Let them do his thing, whatever. I keep them on, but like a long search, a long, long search. You know, by, like, just like you said before, by the end, he's kind of like he's right. walking around. He's working, but he ain't really working. But that's he's where he's going to have to rely on you to, to get build up that duration. But on a school especially, we cut them loose. You, it's a school. Most times you're going to get just like what happened in this school. Crimes against little property. You're going to get kids coming in there and doing some damage, that kind of thing. Or janitors, key holders. I don't torque them, them up. I just, right. But you, you wouldn't necessarily cut them loose either. You know, on any yeah. school. It's only schools. You know what I mean? He's in. He's in. Come on up. Let's see what we have. Right to here? Yep. All right, right there. Stop. Huh? Just, give, just give you an announcement. Yep. Can you tell police the canines with me? I'm going to send my dog. Ready? Go. Hang back. Just hang back for one second. Good. Oh, good boy. All right, pull good back. Boy, tension, boy. tension, tension. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Straddle that dog. Straddle. Pull him back. Back out. All right, that's it. Felicia, only, you can only get so much yep. bite. Let's go. All right, hold on, hold on. Yep. This is what I want. When you're coming out like this, we can my gun hand free, back out, back holding out. him out. Okay. Doing that. As soon as he punches, because he's only got a muzzle, he only, it's like the biggest punch. Get him like this, have him on the side here. I can go to my gun, I can close, I can let go again. Same thing, go. Go right to the next one, don't think about it. Quick, quick, quick. Yeah, we, it, yeah. You tell these kids, I can get out of my dog. All right, don't go in yet, don't go in yet. Wait, wait, you getting something? Now, nah, good. Good. Go ahead, pull him back. There you go. Just keep him engaged. Just keep him engaged. There you go. All right, next one. Grab him by that other fur saver collar when you're bringing him out, not on the pinch collar. Go ahead, pull him back. Pull him back. Now, keep Felicia, grab that collar. He'll keep him engaged. There, now. Now back out. Back out, Felicia. Back out. Back out. Back out. Back out. Just back keep backing you up. Okay, one more. Okay, get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Don't go in. Don't go in. Don't go in. Keep your head, boy. That's all right. Stop poking your head in there yet until he changes directions or whatever. Find him. All right, so this dog bent this way enough. Yep. So if you're gonna pop your head in, yep. this way, just like where you got right now, wait it out. Yep. So goes in. There you go. Oh! go Grab him by that first every collar. Pull him backwards, backwards. Pull him out, pull him out. Good. Now, wait, before you go, back out, back out. Over him, one leg over. Tighten it up, back up, back up. There you go. Good, 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 good. Back out and go, good. Good job, bud, good job. Hey, not bad, really, not bad at all. Good job. Gotcha. That's pretty good for the first time for him. Like That's good. I want to have Felicia do it again, Portland do it again. Who's the third one? 
Who went before you or after you? After me? Butler. Butler, yeah, you're right. Okay, yeah. So when I Butler go again, you'll get another set of reps in just for the reps. Yeah, let me just talk to Matt first. Is that everybody? No, they didn't. All right. So we got a couple more then. Okay. All right, here we go. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? What, we wanna, he's trying to advance without making noise on him. This is going to torque him, though. All right. Rapido. So we're going to do a quick, quick announcement and go. It's going to be fast. Bing, 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 bing. Announce and go. Announce and go. Yep. One announcement and go. It's more for pattern and the, ready, go. Send him. Good, pull him back, pull him back. Good. Good. Each, each time you're pulling him back, pull him by his collar, yep. straddle him, weekend only, give you a gun hand free and back him out. Announce and go. Go. Good. Good. Pull him back. Straddle him. We can only. We can only. Drop that leash. Drop that leash. Straddle him. There you go. Good. Hey, I want you to practice moving backwards almost. If you could do it, if you had to drop both hands, you could still bring him back. Good. Good. Straddle. Back out. All right. Lock him up. Lock him up with your legs. Eric, Eric, back out. Back out. With just your legs only. Legs only. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Good. All right. Off. Please for the pain eyes, show yourself you're gonna get paid! Good. Alright, advance to him, pull him back. There you go. Yeah. That's who I want when it's real. That's who I want. That's who I want. seriousness when we get down there I know you like control there's gonna be a little bit of bringing this out on this thing it's gonna be rapid right so you're gonna do four rooms in a row boom 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 they're each different pieces of this puzzle but by the time you get to the last one it's all all good right okay. the first room there see where you can direct them from when when you can give them that announcement where you can get enough of a hook so you're staying back enough let's push the envelope a little bit this is the dog to do this with Frank, I gotta go. you gotta go you're good yeah. okay Thank you. see you brother The only thing when he does engage, get in there super quick to pull him back. 
The only thing I'm, I want for certain guys I'm doing, I want you to straddle him. Almost lock your heels in. We can. Keep your gun hand free. Back him out. You know, facing your target. So at any point, if you ever had to let go again, you could let go. You could do whatever you need to do. But I want you to just practice some of that a little bit more. Certain guys I want to do this. Okay. This is first door on the left. So wherever you can get where you can send them in, safe enough where you're protected. Move in tight. There you go. Stay off the wall, but get tighter. There you go, right there. Make an announcement and then go. Send them. Every one of them has been going down the hallway because they've been seeing people. Send them in that room there. Advance up if you need to. There you go. Pull them back. Pull them back. Pull them back. Use your legs. Use your legs. There you go. That's exactly what I want you to do on every one. Keeping your gun free. Good. Go right to the next room. Fast, fast announcement and go. Yep. Go. Good. Move up. Good. Good. Pull him back. Pull him back. Pull him back. Hold him back. Okay. Hold him with your legs. Let go your weekend. Let go. Hold him. Good. Grab him again with your weekend. Last room. Go. Good, pull him backwards. Get him by his collar, RJ. Pull him back. Back out now, back out. Back, all the way back. Good. Lock him up with your legs. Good, hook him up. All right, take him out. Good. All right, hey, just for future things here. These, these were all good? Yeah. You got to remember, when they got a muzzle on, it is like if I came running up to you and I gave you my best punch, boom, and you just stood there and nothing happens. That's exactly what's happening with these dogs. They're giving them their best, but their muzzles are not getting all the power in there. They're looking at, they're in that stun moment for that second, like, whoa, wait, wait. And then they got to re So you can't leave them in that great. You got to engage with them okay. right away. Yeah. And, and more than likely, is just get in there with him, pull him back a little bit, and then re-engage him again. All right? That's the only thing. You left him in a great in that one for a little long. You yeah. saw it once we did it. Okay. But good. What? Hey, for... Uh they they have to they have to but you have to too you have to get in there and just pull back a little bit like that because i'm telling you it's it's like the haymaker you just threw and the guy just went and didn't even do nothing didn't do nothing so they have to engage but you have to engage as a handler you got to get in there quick and then let them know that that was the right thing because they just gave it to them. they don't realize that they they didn't succeed they only have that little quick moment honestly it's like you get like three feet Three, three, you know, distance. You can smell stuff. <laughs> Who are you? I, I told. I go. It's funny when, when you had them, didn't smell. No problems. Right. I go. All right. All right, Jake. When you come in, very, very fluid. No pause. No delays. No time to think. For you or him. My, my confusion in the beginning was I didn't realize you wanted me to flow in with him. I thought it was a let him go with the leash. And, yeah. And, and my, me stand back till he lets me know, hey, there's someone in here. Okay. True. So that's that's what I wanted you to do. Okay. But if, if I wanted you to use your taser on them and you went click and didn't do nothing, what would you do? Taser change. Something. Yeah. Something, right? Fluid. We're building him right now. Fluid. You're making your announcement. What I want is you're, you're going to start out at, at one and build, and he's already building. One new nine. All right, Clint, you're building your energy. Don't move yet. You're building your energy. By the time you're getting to that last point, it should be like, ah, build. Clint, please, with a canine, speak to me now, and we're sending the dog. By the time you're doing that, you're sending him like this. He's not, no chance to think we're gonna go for him. Rapid, rapid, rapid. Ready? Go, start firing up now. Hey, Clint, please, with the canine. You're pausing. Good, punch, boy, back up now. Teach him right now, teach him. 
Teachable moment right here. There you go. Good. Good boy. Back him out. Good. Exactly. Next room. Advance with him. Good. Advance, boy. Back out. Good. Good. Good boy. Back him out. Back him out. Scoop him back. Good boy. <laughs> Does it say no women? Just women. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Only. Superior <laughs> canine services after hours. There you go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, who's in there? Greg, Greg. Okay. All right, listen. Energy, passion, and drive, right? What I want, as you're going from here, you're gonna start right here, you're gonna come right here, start building the energy. It should be like, and then I'm just letting them go by the time he gets there. Doesn't mean I, my volume goes from two to 10. Your energy. Give me some energy, man. Right. Give me some energy. I wanna see, like, you, you mean you really want this, not, it can't be just get louder. It shouldn't be, please officer the can, and just, and my volume's coming up, it should be my intensity is coming up. By the time you get to that door and you're cutting them in, your intensity should be through the roof, like, let me go. I wanna go do my thing there. Let them get in there, work them backwards, and keep them engaged, all right? Build. Do we need to, like, you, as a build, and you're like, all right. <laughs> Come on, not really. It's not, it's not, no. What is it? What is it, what is it, what is it, what is it? Is it because Oz punch him in the face? <laughs> what is it? The fucking, it's probably me. It's pro you're probably right. It's the reason when he goes in, he gets one. I was in your ass. Stick that in your ass. No. He goes in, one hard hit, and then boop. There's a reason for that. Right. I, I, but you got to. That's why that one hard hit. You got to get to him for the next one. Why that happens? You know why that happens? Especially with the muzzle. If I came up here and I give you everything. Boom, and I punch you as hard as I could right in the face. And you just stood there and went, that's it. In my mind, I'm like, uh-oh. I just gave him everything I had right there. It didn't even phase this guy. That's what it, they don't have all the capability because of that muzzle's taken away there. It's like fighting with your hands tied. You're, you're trying to do whatever you gotta do. So you let him engage, but you pull him back from him like that, keep him. They're gonna work their, their side of it. You're gonna do yours. So start engaging. Start now, start going. These are just two random strangers. There's two people in there, right? All right, they're just building. Go, go, go. Right now, 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 now. Good, now get him, get him. Good, hold him back, pull him back, Matt, pull him back. Straddle, use your legs, use your legs. Good, good, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Start building here, build up your tents. Now, Matt, you gotta make some noise, man. Holy Christ. Good, get in there. Good, hold him, good. Walk back, back out, back out, just like that. That's what you want. Start building right now, now. Mr. Kenan! Show your hands, he's heading up! Good, pull him back, work him. Now get around him, good, good. Hold him back, hold him back, there you go. Back out, back out, keep him engaged, there you go. Now, Matt, now. Good, get in there, get in there. Good in, now, hold him back, hold him back, there you go. Good. Good, back out, keep backing out, back out, keep your gun hand free. Let go of that rope, there you go. If you needed your gun, your hand was full of leash, go ahead, walk out of here. Run out now, run all the way out. I don't know, man. Hard to build the energy up. Yeah, that's what I said to him. He's coming out. Talk, talk, talk. Yeah. And I don't necessarily need more volume. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't need more volume. I just want more intensity. Just. You would have been like, holy shit. Why? Does he need alcohol? Is that what he needs? Yeah, he has all cocktails. So we're going to get you drunk before. That's what he needs. He needs give him some. Just a, give him a shot. <laughs> Whew, it's hard to get the intensity of it. Is that everybody? No, who's that? Is that everybody? Can I turn this thing off while I go pee pee now? Okay. What is if I get stage fright? When I'm peeing, I can't. What do you need? I'm gonna go pee. Talk myself through it. 
So that exercise, everybody feel okay? Yeah. Anybody, anybody hurt? Anybody feelings hurt? Too bad? No. Um, for, I, I saw a couple of things. We're trying to build, we're trying to build energy as we're going down the hallway. Not necessarily volume, we're trying to build up the energy of it like this. So this dog, would, if there was dogs that were in the gray for any moment, they're just coming in here and doing their thing. Don't give them a chance to think. Go ahead and do this job. They want it more natural and uh, going into the rooms there. Some of you have, have, have to get, come over that and get over that part of, of, you know, coming out of your comfort zone and building your dog up. I mean, you, you, they're relying on you. When you allow them to punch in a muzzle, they're giving their best shot, but you're taking everything away from them. They don't have their teeth. So when they do it, you have to get in there and help them. The decoy is going to do their job. They are. They're, they're folding and giving it to them on that side. But you can't leave them there because they, they just gave their best punch and nothing happened. Because not what, what he normally does, what they normally do when, they, when they're doing that engagement, they're biting. They're feeling it. Now we took that away from them. So you have to get in there and, and help them and build. For the most part, it went good. Um, and we'll build on that again tomorrow and stuff. You see now as the dogs were going from room to room, they were going. At first, when, when you guys' decoys were coming out before you were going to stage in there, you know, the dogs were engaging down hallway. And I, I was like, all right, I thought that was going to be a problem. And it was because dogs were engaging long and not going into the room you wanted. But think about the real world. That's what I started thinking about afterwards. I said, that's okay because that could have been a random stranger. I need you to go in here. So don't just get missile lock on the farthest one down the hallway. So tomorrow we will make sure we'll leave people out in the hallway that are going to be wandering because, you know, the chance of somebody being out there, it's not only one and done. So we'll, we'll put that out there because I saw a little bit of a distraction. So it's a good thing to, to fix, fix it here and fix it now.